Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be troubleshooting Asus laptop. This is the expert book. And as you can see that the computer is power on, I press the power button. There's the power light is on, but I have no display at all. But I do hear the fan is spinning. If I turn it around, the fan here on this side, you can hear the fan noise is running, no display. Let's go ahead and troubleshoot. All right, let me show you the model here. Just take a closer look. This is the Asus ExpertBook B5302CE. Let me go ahead and disconnect the, what do you call that, the uh, adapter, charger, and get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. Let's go ahead and remove the back cover. So we need to get all the screws out. There are three sc screws on the top. Let's go ahead and remove them. And one here in the middle. The middle screw right in the center much longer compared to the rest. So typical reason on a computer where it powers on but no display and prior to that there was no power outage or there's no burn smell or there's no liquid spill or anything physical damage to it then more likely it could be one or two things is either the RAM is bad or the graphics card is bad when it comes to a computer the graphics card is not replaceable because they built into the onto the motherboard so the only thing that you hope for would be the ram and this is the ram that i'm talking about uh, a laptop ram this is a ddr4 ram so if the ram is broken some of the computers the older version it runs with the removable ram but the newer laptops they come in a pre-sorted ram so if that is the case then it's not repairable all right so let's hope this computer has a bad RAM by replacing the RAM hopefully that fixes the problem now we're going to remove the back cover what I like to do is to get a plastic prying tool get it underneath in between that corner all right I have some openings here once you have the opening, go ahead and gently pry it open. Okay, there you go. Once you have removed the back cover, pretty much you see the internal part of your laptop. Now, the first thing first, you notice that this metal here, that is your battery connector. What you want to do is you want to push the metal away from the connector. Okay, like so. Push it away so that the the battery connector can be removed by gently just lift it up like such so this metal piece right here is a lock that locks it down you need to push it away you can hear the little click right let me redo it again that's how you install the battery push it down that's how you lock it in okay so that metal part right there has to be above the white connector that means it's open and now you can remove the connector a lot of people that do not pay attention to this what they do is just to try to yank it out and, un and eventually they'll yank out the entire connector that means you just broke your motherboard all right don't do that pay attention to doing that part right there now the ram is is here it's in here this is the just a metal cover uh, all you have to do is just kind of just pull, pull the thing out and that's all you have to do because it's kind of held down by this little tiny clipper here those are the clipper that is clipping onto this piece of a metal okay peel that little plastic back towards you expose the ram you want to push the two side of the clipper push it away from each other like such and the ram will just pop up at 45 degree angle and you just want to slide it out there's no brand or anything on on original ram it's 
uh, SK RAM, SK Hynix RAM. This is a DDR4. I'll be replacing with the with the Crucial. Uh, this is the eight gig DDR4 RAM running at twenty six hundred. Let's go ahead and install it. What you want to do, you want to make sure you align that little gap, the RAM gap right in the center of the slot. Slide it down at 45 degree angle and then push it down right in the middle and the both side of the clipper would clip and lock it back in. All right. Let's go ahead and try to turn it on and see if the computer actually works or not. And we're gonna put the battery back together. Push the metal back in. That is the, uh, the indicator. Let me press the power button here on this side. So the power button is on the right and then the indicator is on the left. Hopefully I still have battery on it. All right, so the, the light comes on. Hey, I got a display immediately. Great, so Wow, we found a problem. And uh, easy fix. Great, great, and I'm very happy it was just a RAM. Uh, double checking and see, yep, the power light is, is on. Uh, the hard drive light is blinking. And the battery is, let's see if it's plugged in and if there's any charge to that. So let me plug it in. Great, I have an indicator of orange light. That means the battery is taking the charge. Uh, that's very good. So let's remove that. Wow, that was that was awesome. And uh, and I do have a screen here. I just want to make sure I'm not showing the name of the client. As you can see, it's asking for a pin. Um, definitely, this incorrect pin. It's not one two three four. Asus expert book. We fixed the problem. So let me go ahead and shut it down. Press the power here, shut down. Yep, the screen is just turned black. And the computer light just went off. Awesome, great. So we found a problem. It is actually the RAM. So we're changing out the RAM that fixes the problem. What I'll do is I'll link the RAM down in the description below where you can find them from either Amazon or eBay, Newegg, um, any e-commerce website on the internet. I'll link it down below. Go check it out. Um, hopefully I can fix a problem for you if you have exact same model like this Asus laptop then no display you might want to consider changing out the ram hopefully that fixes the problem remember earlier in the video i mentioned that if not the ram then more likely would be your cpu or the graphics card meaning that the motherboard might be the case so if you change out the ram and it doesn't work then it has to be the motherboard problem when it comes to that situation I'm not sure if it's recommended to replace the motherboard, but if you're asking me that, hey, how can I get my data and I just want to retire the laptop, move on with the new one, but I just need the data. This is where you want to look into is the uh, hard drive. So go ahead and get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. This is a smaller size, which is 1.5 millimeter. Go ahead and remove that one screw. And that screw is holding down the hard drive. And that is your M.2 solid state drive. Slide it to the right. As you can see that the model here is Gen 3. And the capacity of this is 512 gigabyte M.2 SSD drive. Now, if you want the data, uh, go ahead and get yourself one of these USB M.2 adapter. This is the uh, adapter that reads off the hard drive so go ahead and insert like such get this little rubber band clip it down make sure it's securely tightened like such and go ahead and plug into any of 
your other computer of course not this computer because it's not giving you the display but go ahead and and plug it it into um, your different computer just like a USB thumb drive right plug it in and you should be able to gain access to your data hoping that the hard drive is still in a good condition okay so there's another one way if you're looking to just recover the data and not able to fix your computer all right so that is said and done um, if you do find this video is helpful or I'm asking you just uh, smash the like button for me and if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe to the channel I really appreciate that and again for those of you who wants to show me appreciation down below YouTube super thanks allow you to do some donation and show appreciation of my work and if you really uh, want to help me out I really appreciate for clicking the super thanks or maybe the PayPal donation site. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye now.